Hi, I'm Jeff Dugopolsky, but you can call me Big G. Today I'm going to demonstrate Mighty Vax MV6842 Pressure Brake Bleeder. This kit contains this pump here, seven adapters to fit the master cylinder of most cars, and a collection container to capture the old fluid. Whenever you're working with brake fluid, make sure you have the proper safety equipment. I've got rubber gloves, safety glasses, I even have a fender cover to protect the car. Now we're ready to get started. As I mentioned before, the kit comes with several different adapters. I've selected the adapter that fits this car. We're going to put it in place of the cap on the master cylinder. The adapter has a swivel head fitting so we can put it in a position where we can connect our hose. With this valve in the open position, I'm going to pump this up to about 10 pounds of pressure to make sure we don't have any leaks. I don't see any leaks around the master cylinder or hoses. Our gauge is holding pressure. So I'm going to go ahead and tilt this valve to relieve the pressure and we're ready to add fluid. This particular vehicle calls for DOT4 brake fluid. I poured a whole quart into the pump, which should be enough to do this job. It's always a good idea to consult the service manual to see what the proper pump pressure should be. If you're unsure, 10 PSI is a good place to start. So I'm going to pump this up until I get to 10 PSI. And then the machine also comes with this hook, which makes it nice to hold everything level while you're bleeding the brakes. Now we're ready to lift the vehicle. I've securely lifted the vehicle. In this situation, I'm only bleeding one brake. If you're bleeding more than one brake, it's a good idea to check your service manual for proper sequence. I've also checked the bleeders on this car to make sure they open. That's another thing you should check before you get started. Now all we gotta do is bleed the brakes. We'll start with putting a wrench on the bleeder, and then we connect the reservoir that came with your kit to catch the fluid. Now we connect this to the bleeder and we're ready to bleed. Well, I can see we have no air bubbles in the line, which means we're done bleeding. We've got good clear fluid. We can just go ahead and tighten our bleeder up, disconnect our bottle, and we're done. Well, we're done bleeding already. It's that simple. All I have to do now is to relieve the pressure in the tank, disconnect our hose and our adapter, And at this point, if you're low on brake fluid, it comes with this wand attachment. You can put that on the end of the hose, pump it back up and fill it from there. We look like we're pretty good on fluid, so I'm just gonna put the cap back on. And then we're gonna pump up the brake pedal and make sure we don't have any leaks. Remember, when you're done bleeding your brakes, make sure you properly dispose of your used fluid. Well, we're done bleeding the brakes at the wheels. I just need to make sure we don't have any leaks. I'm gonna pump the pedal up here a couple times and then hold it for a few seconds. If the pedal doesn't drop, we should be in good shape. I got a good hard pedal here. So I'm gonna go out to the wheel and make sure we don't have any leak at the bleeder and we should be done. Well, I just got done checking the brake bleeder. I don't see any leaks there. Looks like it was a successful bleeding job done by the Mighty Vac pressure bleeder. Check it out, I recommend it, it's a good tool, and I'll see you next time, I'm Big G.